120 seconds to Nihum Pier. Fly over an altitude of 20. We'll drop in from above the pier entrance and commence the op. Roger. Bato, the exit's all yours. Right. You just leave all of those fleeing rabbits to me. I'm counting on you. Hey, Chief. Ready whenever you are. What's so important about this op that I lose my day off? Roger that. The military's moved up in the world. They got us cleaning up after their messes. Let's have them owe us one. The memories are being erased? There's someone else besides me who is accessing this guy's cyber brain? <gasps> Attack barrier? Who's the peeping Tom out there? Otto, what's your present location? En route to level 21 in the parking garage elevator. I believe that multiple hostiles have infiltrated the parking garage. Don't let your guard down. Roger. Let's rock and roll. Okay, will it be the tiger or the lady? What? Rice? <laughs> Still got company. Mr. Bato! Where are the terrorists? Are they hiding? They're all gone. We should have hurried up and gotten here sooner! What? It wasn't my fault! It's because you were being stingy with the grenades! Yeah, but if we ran out of them, we'd be in really big trouble later! Whatever. Just make sure you come quicker from now on. Yes, sir! With this much humidity, optical camouflage is pointless. This is the Major, now carrying out mission. I'll come give you a lift when I'm done with my little errand. You will, huh? I'll be waiting with low expectations. Guess I don't have a choice. What do you think? Right on time. What kept you? How about a little gratitude, lady? You say something? No, nah, nothing. Bato, how's it look outside? I got a great view. Everything's upside down, though. No movement from the regional director? For the moment, there's no sign that we've been spotted. She doesn't look much like she does in the official records. Think this is psychological warfare, too? Publicly, she's the director of the Autonomous Region. But in reality, she's nothing more than Kei Yazawa's puppet. The dam's coming into view. We ought to be feeling the jamming barrier any minute. The dam's interior is inside the interference zone. 
Our cyber comms will go out soon, too. You're right. Otto, what happened? This isn't good, Major. We're gonna plow right into the station. If we don't get out, this will turn into a steel coffin. I know that. The motor control program is being rewritten from the outside. You mean they know what we're gonna do? We don't have time to alter the program. You escape from the touch coma. What are you gonna do? I guess we're inside the jamming barrier zone. So there's something that they're willing to go to this much trouble to hide, huh? Fields? You erase them and nobody can find them, huh? Apparently I need to find out a bit more about this man Yazawa. I think I'll take a look around the opposite bank. Section 9 guy's got some nasty toys. Mr. Bato, Mr. Bato, let me sneak in! You're busted up from the shock when we escaped. Be quiet and stay out of sight. But if you get into trouble, I'll come a-running, okay? I'll be waiting with low expectations. Training grounds at the base of the dam, huh? I'd say they pretty much just unmasked themselves. Major, do you read me? The jamming barrier's down and the cybercoms are back online, so why does she... Is she lost and crying somewhere? I can hear you. What the hell? Where are you? I'm right underneath your feet. Yazawa? His house was empty. I'm on my way to the office block to try my luck there. Is that okay with you? Now commencing infiltration into office block. Roger that. It feels as if somebody's anticipating our moves, and I don't like it. I think you're right. But we may be able to outwit the enemy because of that. What's wrong? Nothing to worry about. I'm going in. The channel is being forcibly tuned. Can you hear me, my good police officer? Only I am able to transmit via this emergency channel, so I'm going to take the liberty to speak to you. He had a net set up on the terminals? I am Eiji Goto. Kei's honorable ideals are being tarnished because of a traitor. That is something I will not stand for. Over there? I have a favor to ask of you people. You've detected my location, I take it. Come here, hurry! If you don't, I'll be erased by... <laughs> I'd better hurry up. You want me to play hide-and-seek in a place like this with some old man? You're the closest, aren't you? All right, all right. <laughs> Dummies, huh? <laughs> well now, I guess it's time to do some cleaning. Go 
Tiptoe? A high-velocity armor-piercing round from behind. He wasn't shot very long ago. This is it. Who the hell is that? Hmm? Huh? No way! Bato, did you manage to take Goto into custody? Yeah. I found him, but he was a stiff. And not a very talkative one at that. Understood. We'll meet up below. Roger. Hey, could you try to make less noise around here? We are on a mission. In this case, I'm attempting to lessen the tension during combat as much as possible. I was just thinking of the mental state people are in when they're alone and lonely. Hearing their names called out by someone they know will calm their nerves and lift their spirits. That's not how I feel right now. Oh? See, they must have mistaken the ruckus for a festival and come to join the fun. Let's go, Tachkoma. This must be one of those blood fests. No, it ain't. The military. They're in a rush to put the fire out now that they know sparks could fall on their own damn heads. They should have come sooner if they were going to. <laughs> hmm? An Oniyama? Don't tell me they've got one of those, too. Crap, if it's not one thing, it's another. Looks like the lid to Pandora's box just opened. Well, that's a royal pain, isn't it? As long as that's buzzing around up there, we can't sneak into the underground factory. I'll act as a decoy. You will? There's a handy toy by the entrance. An anti-aircraft cannon. I'll draw the helicopter away. While I keep him busy, you try to get the hacking code for that cannon. Understood. I'll contact you as soon as I have the code. Major, I can trust you on this, right? Trust me? Never mind, it's nothing. Let's do it! Okay. Baker! Not yet. I'm not done extracting the information. Hurry up! Level 5 barrier breach. Download. Don't call me by my first name, okay? Geez, you had me worried. Will you just be more careful with your life? Sure, I'll keep that in mind. Because the worst is yet to come. What'll come out, the tiger or the lady? Shall we open it and be surprised? Why not? From here on out, we're gonna split up and act as two teams. Time is short. Listen, I... Hmm? Uh, forget it, it was nothing. It's do or die time. Let's go! This is the Major. Now commencing infiltration into interior. Bato, you ready? No cybercom reception down here, apparently.
That's gotta be the underground factory. That's one serious mousetrap. I don't have time to circle around. So I better get moving then. Aesthetic bodies? This area looks like their dressing room. That must be the prosthetic body we saw on the monorail. And this one is the regional director's original prosthetic body. Which means... That must be her secret treasure chest. Hey, it's... It's you, Major. Look at this. This is Kei Yazawa, the boss of this region who we chased here. He's been dead a while. I'm too late. Huh? Ah! Don't tell me she... Son of a bitch! Visual camouflage? No, it's not camouflage. This is where the tainted rice was created. Only you people hadn't shown up. If you hadn't gotten involved, everything would have gone according to plan and worked out perfectly. What the hell is going on? Hmm? Major? Sure, now I get it. But which one? Both of their ID signals show each to be the real major. Not much choice then. Motoko! So you're the fake! You're late. Damn. Nothing changes with you. Choreographers in the autonomous region. Let's go, Tachikoma. This must be one of those blood bats.
Danger, we're running out of time. Hurry up! Attack barrier! You who have been reduced to puppets of the state cannot possibly betray that state, can you? All of us fight in the name of what we believe to be just and ethical. If you ask me, nothing else is worth following. That bitch triggered this place's self-destruct program. We have everything we need. We just gotta get out of here and it's mission complete. If we get out. This really isn't my day, is it? This way's no good either. Man, we're so close. <laughs> What kept you? Let's save the sentimental reunion for later, okay? Yeah, comic antics can come much later. Huh? We're out of here. Oh, jeez. The whole thing is underwater. Looks that way. Simultaneous multiple leaks of the Riku Micro Machine configuration have been confirmed. Thanks to that, the rights to the MM Rice that the Japanese government had a monopoly on are now effectively license free. As for the tainted rice, Ishikawa is working on a vaccine program for it. Wasn't it a utopian dream of theirs to use the Micro Machine Rice to finance their independence? Eliminate hunger and poverty from this planet. Create a world in which all people are content. And those words came straight out of Toshimi's memory. The copy right has turned into copy left. In a sense, you could say Kei Yazawa's dream has been made into a reality. You think that woman had this plan too? More than likely. It's not easy to understand the love a sister has for her little brother. By the way, Bato, I'm curious. How were you able to tell that it wasn't me back there? Oh, that? Geez, how many years have we been teamed up now? <laughs> Unbelievable. And you'd never turn around just because I called your name. I heard that.
military has requested us to arrest a witness who's at a black market weapons sale taking place at Nihama on Pier N3. Apparently, the weapons were scheduled to be scrapped by the military, but were misappropriated. Shouldn't we put a leash on him and see where he runs? The important thing is that he's the subject of an investigation. Make sure you extract his memories and find out who's backing his shopping spree. Regarding the current pier situation, it's believed that a substantially large armed group has infiltrated the site. You want me and Bato to do this alone? I'll have Ishikawa back you up. Pass information to him for analysis as you get it. I doubt that you'll have any trouble with him, Major, but the operating systems at the pier are pretty old. I'll send you data piecemeal. Doctor, sir, keep an eye on military intel. Roger. Saito, back up the Major from the water. Roger. Pazu and Boma, check out any groups you suspect are related. Roger. Roger. Now get out there and start earning your pay, people! The male suspect in the Jameson-type body that the Major apprehended was put to cyberbrain death by an unknown assailant. After reconstructing his fragmented memories, we determined that the man was Takaru Fuwa. Wait, you mean the victim of the university murder case five years ago? Correct. What the heck is a guy who's supposed to have been dead for five years doing in Nihama now? Pazu uncovered records indicating that Fuwa had hired a courier to deliver cargo of some sort, verifying as we speak. According to current reports from our intelligence, his present location is between the 21st and 24th floors of the pier parking garage. Bazo, infiltrate the garage with two touch combs. Intercept this courier and take him into custody. Roger. Okay, kids, I'll come at him from below. You two come in from above. Roger that! Just leave it to us! The security system inside the parking structure has been overwritten by someone. I need to track down the perp so we can't rewrite the system yet. Exercise extreme caution. Yeah, yeah. About the rice you secured inside the garage. We've ascertained that it's micro-machine rice that's primarily exported abroad. Why was Fuwa carrying this grain and not weapons? We'll have to investigate and find out what the implications are. Torissa, you head to Nihama Yu and reinvestigate that five-year-old Fuwa incident. Right, Chief. Gotta do my homework over, huh? Fuwa and arm smuggling. And now micro-machine rice. So far we found the individual points, but there's still no hint of a line that connects them. Based on the trail of money from the Tohoku region, along with the records of Fuwa turning up in Nihama, I checked the IR records limiting the search to that region. Fuwa is shown standing in the Nihama station of the Tohoku Linear Rail. At this point, he's not a Jameson type. And for the past seven years, Fuwa has been renting a storage unit. I'd say the odds are good that his prosthetic body is stowed away in there. Major, head over to the warehouse and check whatever it is that Fuwa left there. Understood? Roger. The Tohoku Autonomous Region was an installation where scientists were to be evacuated in wartime. It's currently under direct military authority. They're keeping scientists? Yazawa is one of the scientists who fled to the region in response to a summons issued by the military. He's still there despite the dismantling of the installation. Do you think Fuwa and Goto are connected to this too? It's a possibility. What is he doing in a facility like that? There's something fishy about this. Here's a satellite image of the region. At first glance, it looks like an ordinary dam. It's probably being camouflaged with a visual barrier. I did some checking via the net. They've got an independent net set up, and access from the outside is prohibited. Major, you and Bato infiltrate the autonomous region and make contact with Yasuo. And me? I'm told that Toshimi Tagami, the region's director, is in Hanamaki. Your assignment for the time being is to find out what Tagami has been doing there. That's your role in life, little man. I'm not saving your butt even if it gets hit by a stray bullet. The monorail that connects the autonomous region is only used to transport authorized personnel. Toshimi Tagami is scheduled to return to the region tomorrow, so use it. Can't we go in with a tilt rotor? It's half dismantled, but it was a military fortress. If it's still functional, chances are it's more than capable of shooting down aircraft. A little outing on the monorail, huh? I'm gonna have some fun to make up for lost vacation time. Bato, status report. What's your current situation? The monorail was hit by a virus and went out of control. It's heavily damaged and I'm clinging to the wall with a banged up touch coma. I can't even hear the Major. You know her, she's probably inside carrying out her own independent investigation. Boss man, want me to come give you a hand? 
Who, you? Ain't there anybody else? Kazu, Boma, and Saito are currently running round-the-clock stakeouts on people with military affiliations. Consider yourself on your own. Then that must mean you've got loads of faith in us. The jamming barrier from that radio tower is causing a cybercom blackout. Since there's no net link to the outside, the system is probably regulated from the control room inside the structure of the dam. That's got to be the place where they manage all the information that comes into the autonomous region, too. Go to the control room and obtain information on any items that came into the region. Like cargo that has from the military written on it? At the same time, try taking down the jamming barrier and restore cyber communications ASAP. Roger. Jeez, that's an awful tall order for a guy to do all by his lonesome. Have you made contact with Yazawa? He's out in the lower fields, apparently. Lower fields? That's what was written on the door of his empty room. Where are you? There's an office that was occupied by the regional director in the office block. I'm on my way there. I see. That works out well, then. Obtain the rice-related data from the terminal at the Autonomous Regional Citizen Center, located in the office block. Regarding that micro-machine rice that Bato found the other day, the configuration of it was a dead-on match for the rice that our friend Fua tried to deliver. This leads us to the assumption that he brought that micro-machine rice out of the Tohoku Autonomous Region. Therefore, the storage of this grain has to be somewhere in that region. Find out where it's being stored. And I want the complete background on the weapons that flowed into the area, too. Roger. I'm gonna go on ahead to the base of the dam. I saw something there that looked like a training ground. If you could also clean out the place, it'd be a big help. I see the entrance to the office block. Talk to you later. Gotta go. I was contacted by Goto. The signal was coming from the training ground's control room. I picked it up here too. Looks like I'm the closest. During his career, Goto developed independent theories not only on joint engineering, but micro-machine technology as well. His ideas never became mainstream, but it can't be denied that he's a man who had a profound impact on the scientific research of the day. The enemy prosthetic bodies we retrieved from the pier were retrofits based off of commercial products. Even our red coats back at the lab couldn't make heads or tails of technology backed by Goto's theories. Bato, it's imperative that you track down Goto and make contact with him at once. In addition, we need to get the entire lowdown on the enemy, collect all the records that are stored at the training grounds. Roger. About the blackmail letter sent to the Agriculture Ministry, one just like it was confirmed at the Home Affairs Ministry. However, police intervention in the Autonomous Region was declined in this case. They claimed the cops couldn't get involved because it was strictly a military matter. They're fighting over turf again? They're always trying to save face over the stupidest things. It most likely means there are some facts they want to keep a lid on. Locate the entrance to the underground facility and identify whatever it is that's down there. What do you mean, whatever it is? Whatever! That enemy chopper is an assault helicopter that the military uses as a personnel transport. As long as this and the AA cannon are watching the airspace, the military can't send in reinforcements. Major, Bato, neutralize them immediately. What's the choice of weapons they can have in its cargo bay? If they have armed suits, it can carry up to four. The ones that we used before during that sniping system testing didn't have that capability, though. External neutralization? I don't think it can be done except by a direct link from within. I'll have to get on board then. We use the records the Major retrieved from the helicopter to devise an infiltration route into the underground facility. There are two underground installations. One is set up to research M.M. Rice and the other deals specifically with weapons. This threat posed by the tainted Rice has turned this case into a potential hostage situation. The authorities have called an unofficial meeting. But many are saying that the virus is just a bluff on the part of the Autonomous Region. This faction is demanding that they launch an assault. Now that the anti-aircraft installations are neutralized, the calls inside the military for an airstrike are growing louder. They want to erase everything, don't they? I bet that's what they were after all along. Our mission is to smoke out an invisible enemy who's lurking behind this terrorism at the same time we're trying to prevent the terrorist act. Perhaps there's two people who know the whole story behind this. It's either Kei Yazawa or Regional Director Toshimi Tagami. 
Take both of them into custody and track down any records that can possibly be used as evidence. Roger. I'll take Yasuo and Takami. Bato, you handle the factory. Sure. The cybercom signal from the Major was cut off. She must have reached the bottom of the shaft. We surmise that the Tohoku Autonomous Region has military power on par with the small country. So we cannot overlook this state of affairs. And the military may initiate an airstrike. Gather as much information as you can and make it back alive. Roger. <laughs> 